Welcome to this video. In this video, we are gonna explain measurement of Poisson ratio by image J in large structures with large strains. When we apply tension or compression to a specimen, the specimen shows strains in both longitudinal and transverse directions. The Poisson ratio is the ratio between the strains in transverse and longitudinal directions. This ratio is usually positive, but for some materials known as metamaterials or axitic materials, this ratio can be negative. In the following example, we will show how we could measure the Poisson ratio of an axitic structure using ImageJ software. I open my ImageJ software and then open the first and last frame of the tensile test. This is the first frame before applying tensile to the specimen and this is the last frame. I put the first frame in left side and also the last frame in right side of the monitor. Please notice that before test, we mark this point by a color. These points can help us in measuring distances between the first and last frames. Now we create a line between these points. At first a horizontal line in both of the picture which help us to calculate the strain in the x direction. It's very important to locate the ends of the lines in the same position in both pictures. We should really take care about locating the end of the lines to be exactly the same in both pictures. I also repeat this procedure for other end of the lines. The ends should be exactly the same in both of these pictures. I try to locate the end point exactly at the corner of pixels. Now we have created two similar lines in two pictures and we can measure elongation of this line between two pictures. For this purpose, at first in the first frame picture, we set the scale. We have this line and we can enter the value that shows the length of this line. For simplicity and convenience, we enter 100 as the length of this line. Please notice that we just want to measure the strain in x direction which is the ratio between the length of lines in two pictures. We also pick the global which shows that this scale is for both pictures. Now we can go to the last frame picture and from analyze use measure. This window shows the final length of the line. The strain in x direction is about 1% from this window. In an exactly same procedure, we also measure the strain in the y direction. We have also two points in y direction and create two lines in both pictures and then locate the ends of these lines at the same points. We set the scale one more time for new lines. We enter 100 another time and 
click the global and we can measure the line in the last frame. Here is the length of the line in the last frame and the strain in the y direction is also near 1%. We can calculate Poisson ratio from two strains and surprisingly the Poisson ratio is negative for this structure which shows that this structure shows axeticity and fall into the category of metamaterials. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video was helpful, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.